understanding what best interest means in practice up here on the second floor. I have an intimate knowledge of what best interest actually means. There's a minimum standard safety for children. That's what our statutes require. Best interest is not, can you give her a pony for crying out loud? Best interest is, does she have a safe place to sleep? Is she getting fed regularly? Does she get bathed? Is she, does she have a place to play? Is she around people who are treating her well or is she being mis, you know, mistreated? I, you know, I, I don't, it's a waste of time to argue to me the size of an apartment if this child is well and healthy and happy and sleeping and eating and, and getting up and going to school when she goes to school and coming out. For the record, we can see these are not wealthy people. It, that's what I'm saying. It, and wealth it, and best interest is not tied to wealth except to the extent that it starts getting to neglect. And neglect is specifically defined. I, you know, I, I don't know what else to tell you. Okay. All right. May I proceed, John? Yep. All right. Um, How much do you pay for rent? I'm not sure. Are you on the lease? I'm not sure. How many people are allowed in the apartment under the lease? Objection. Calls for speculation. She said she, she didn't. She says she's not sure. She lacks foundation to answer the question. Sustained. I was. Uh, uh, hey. You filed. Wait for a question. No, no. You filed an ex parte motion to waive mediation in this case, correct? Oh, she doesn't even know what that means. The, oh, I she filed it. Oh, come on. No, I had an, I don't know. I had an attorney, and, and I don't know. I, oh, this case has did been she done. file it, or did the attorney file it? She filed it, Your Honor. So it was a, it was a proper person filing? It's in her. It's in handwriting. That's a fair question, then. Okay. okay. If she filled it out, she should know what she was submitting. All right. So, um... application to waive mediation in this case, correct? May I approach, Your Honor? Yep. I can't even read that. Oh, so, by the way, I, it should be uh, I, it should be part of the of the exhibit book if we're going to constantly refer to documents that were filed. I, I look, I, that's, a, that's a point well taken. If it wasn't in the exhibit book, what are these being proffered for? Okay. Um, well, this goes to her part ability. of the record. I can look at the whole right. electronic record. It's not going to, you know, if there's it, something I need to look at, point it out. Yes, to me. this goes into the most vital uh, of the best interest factors, which is the parent's ability and willingness to facilitate an ongoing relationship with the other parent. Okay, so that's what it's. So she has testified that she wants to promote a, a relationship with him. Right. You're telling me it's being offered to impeach that. Correct. Go ahead. Okay, so you recognize this document. Right. Okay. And this is a motion to, uh, you asked the court to waive your, uh, uh, the order for mediation between you and Lewis, correct? Mm -hmm. Can I see that? Okay. I'm going to object for time for a foundation. I don't know when it was filed. Oh. I mean, after January 14th, 15th, 2000. Did they have a file stamp on it or something, or did you just show it to them? I did show it to him, but I'll show it to him again. First page. You can page. just read the date. Yeah, just have her identify the date stamped on the first page if it's a file. Can you identify the date stamp. on the first page? It's right here. Yes. What is it? April 9th, 2019. Okay. Okay, okay and um, <coughs> so, so you, you filed this document, correct? Correct. Okay, and you asked the court uh, to not make you uh, sit with dad in a neutral mediator and try to come up with a schedule, correct? Okay, correct. There was a, on, on the electronic online, it said me and him were scheduled for two different rooms. So my, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? My object was that we did not need to be in two different rooms. That's when Rhonda submitted it would be a telephonic mediation. I, I was misunderstanding okay. why it was two different rooms. That's why I can cut to the chase here. She alleged that there was domestic abuse in the, in the, in the relationship when she filed her motion. So when my department assigned it to mediation, they threw a domestic violence protocol on there. So she's saying she objected to the need for a, a domestic violence okay. protocol? No, no. I think that's what she's saying. That's what saying. she's saying right now. She's saying, it, no, it's I, 
I the don't document know. speaks for itself. Right. The, the document does speak for itself. I'll look at it. The other ones also speak for themselves. They're full of grammatical errors. They're difficult to read. She was obviously in pro per, and based on her testimony here today, I'm not trying to insult her, but her command of the English language is not that of a lawyer. So I'm, okay. I, you know, I it's, first, it's I a point that's being belabored question. for, okay. I don't know that you need to keep doing it. Is that. this your signature, though? Yes. Okay. But this is not your handwriting, right? You no, didn't... no, it is. This is this is your handwriting? Yes. Okay. I, ju I just asked the court to take judicial notice of the intense difference between this document handwriting and the the ex parte application that we looked, uh, that the court to, took notice of a few moments ago regarding Rhonda Ford's work. I'll take a look at them. Please, because it's I've never seen anything like it. Well, you can ask her if someone helped her prepare it. She just said it's her handwriting. Yeah, she says it's hers. Her. So I'll take a look at it. that um, in your ex parte application to waive mediation, you claim that the baby has anxiety because of Lewis, right? Can I see that? Well, isn't it your position that, that your child has anxiety because of uh, because she witnessed violence in the, from the womb? Ob objection. It just states the facts not in evidence. Yeah, no, it states exactly what you wrote on these documents. Isn't that true that you said that? I'm not uh, a good site. Yeah, the doc, you can point it out in the document. Okay. Okay. A motion to continue trial in this case, correct? Correct. You uh, told the court that you wanted to continue to see what would happen in your criminal case, correct? No, I needed to get a, a, a new counsel. Uh, we, we didn't really touch upon, what was that Dimitri class or whatever it was? Demeanor? What, Demeanor what program. What was that? <coughs> Objection relevancy. You already ruled on the import of whatever legal issues she had in 2000. And 18. It's a rehabilitative it, requirement. They, we're talking about misdemeanors here and arrests that didn't review, didn't result in convictions. It's the same problem I have with this DV history. I, you know, yeah, there's arrests out there. No, it's it's actually for the record. It's not the same problem. His was dismissed before anything. Hers was dismissed only after uh, meeting requirements and staying out of trouble for the period. Okay. It's uh, not it's not a crime that has direct relevance on a child custody case though. Yeah. Misdemeanor is a misdemeanor, except for when they point them out in the statutes that they're important, like domestic violence. I... <coughs> and um, if if we get, if the court allow grants you primary physical custody of Gabriella, how are you going to support her? I DoorDash. Okay, let's talk about DoorDash. When did you start there? And I have help. When did you start at DoorDash? Uh. I'm I'm not entirely sure of a day. It's been it's been a few months. And how often do you go there? Do you drive for DoorDash? In the beginning, I was doing it more, and now they like change their schedule around, and they off they only have short shifts. So what what are your hours now with DoorDash? I'll do like from one to three, or from <coughs> one to two. It's the day depending on the the shift they have the day. I go out two last, times, when three was the times. last time you did one? I would say a week ago. And where did you go? Excuse me? 
Objection relevancy. Where she goes, where On she door delivers dash? food. Yeah, it's, that's not relevant. It goes, it, this is credibility, Your Honor. She didn't say anything to, to okay. impeach. She said she does DoorDash. I mean, what, are you saying she doesn't do DoorDash? Okay. Right. So you filed another financial disclosure form in this case, right? Mm -hmm. Correct. Court's indulgence. Um, turn to your exhibit E. July 15, 2019? Yes. And um, you here stated that you started working at DoorDash on May 13, 2019? She didn't give a specific date, Your Honor. She said a few months ago. No, this characterizes I'm looking at her testimony. FDF. But you're asking about what she testified to, counsel? No, no, I'm not. I'm saying, I'm looking at the FDF and I'm asking her. She said she started May 13, 2019, where I wouldn't just randomly make that up following her testimony. No, it's, if it'll help her figure out the time. She said she can't remember exactly when she did. If you got a date that'll work, Does this ahead. refresh your recollection? Your FDF filed under oath in July 15, 2019? Yeah, I, I, I submitted the with DoorDash when I, when I started. I would assume there would be a specific date on that. Okay. But I'm not I'm and, talking uh, about Okay, head. so you said you started DoorDash May 13th, right? Oh. And then look at your last page of this exhibit. Um, it's a document you provided in support of your FDF, and it says, Congratulations, DoorDash. July 13th, 2019. What page there, Council? 241, the last page. Thank you. For FDF. Is that... Oh, right here. Um, oh, oh, okay. That would be the date. Okay, but, but in your FDF, you told the court it was May 13, 2019. I may have confused a, a letter. Okay. Um, and then you also tell the court that your prior employer was McDonald's, right? Yes. And you told the court that your date of hire was May 7th, 2019. Mm -hmm. Right? And then you Possibly. tell the court that your reason for leaving McDonald's was that uh, McDonald's was racist and uh, they favored immigrants, correct? It wasn't McDonald's, it was WBF management. But didn't you testify earlier today that WBF or whatever is McDonald's? Objection. Yeah, but it's a franchise. See. Credibility, Your Honor. You yeah. are ability She's to support her, her child. On Look, it, here's where it's ability relevant. Ability to support her child. And it, it, it's relevant Civility. for impeachment. It's relevant for the document that her mom filed in the guardianship that she says is all untrue, that says she can't keep a job and she skips around. She's simply pointing out that that's probably true. You guys aren't, you're not making any major revelations, though, with this. I, I can read these documents. Okay. I have read these documents. Okay, so I'll move on, Your Honor. Um, and you also state here that um, you provide different dates for the other jobs. So I'll move on. Um, are you no longer getting the $15 from your dad? Because it's no longer in this FDF, right? That is... I don't have an answer yes to that. No. Just answer. No. Okay. And... Um, And, you, and, and on page six of eight, you list, you have no assets, you have no bank accounts, you, have, you don't have anything? No. Okay. should have any uh, say so regarding Gabriella's schooling? Um. Of course, he's her father. <coughs> what does legal custody mean to you? Objection. Uh, okay. 
I mean, it's a fair question. She okay, filled out fine. a Have she you, filled out a motion asking for sole legal custody. Let's see if she even knew what it was. Oh, it's sole legal custody. Legal custody. Legal custody. She asked you, "What do you believe legal custody is?" I thought legal custody is custody through the court. Okay. It's a common misconception among most of the pro se litigants exactly. that I see. They don't know the difference between physical custody and legal custody. Okay, but you asked the court for sole legal and custody, and you also asked the court for primary physical custody, right? Objection. Uh, overruled. She, she filed a she filed a, she filed the complaint. She filed the motion. It's a fair question. Right. You asked the court for both of those, right? Now that I'm aware what what. No, no. Okay. Answer. Go ahead. Now that I'm aware what sole physical custody is, I would primary physical custody is what I am plaintiffing for. Let me ask you this: How did you become aware from two seconds ago to now what sole legal custody is? Because you just asked the court, what is it, and nobody answered. Uh, objection. She she was not actually responsive to a question about sole legal custody. She was talking about physical custody. So maybe we can rephrase it. Object to the form of the question. Sustained. What is legal custody now that you know what it is? Legal custody is... O objection. That question calls for a legal conclusion. What it means to her would be another question. Yeah, the, the question was, yeah, the question could be asked properly. That question does call for a legal conclusion. I'll rephrase, Your Honor. What do you think legal custody means? There you go. Custody through the court, that's legal. Legal. Okay, do you not think that dad should also have legal custody? False, he's her father. So why did you ask the court just to give it to you and not to him? I don't see that. I don't feel that way. So you're sitting here and think, you think the court should grant both you and dad custody? That's not for me to answer. That's why we're here. Oh. Am I you know, missing something here? She does not know what legal custody means versus physical custody. That seems, if I can infer, Your it's, Honor, to save us some time. Yeah, it's pretty clear to me she doesn't. Okay, but I asked her, so whatever you think uh, custody I'm is, going to object to should dad have it? I think that's asked and answered. She said, of course, he's the father. And, and then I said, so that so should the court grant him that? And she said, that's up to the court. Okay. So are, are you asking the court to grant him what you think custody is also? Uh, Objection to the form of the sense. question. I'm sorry. It's, uh, I don't know it's a question that she can answer. She doesn't have the requisite understanding of what the underlying terms mean. That's been demonstrated to me Man, clearly, but she's also said he, sh be, of course, he's the father. That says to me, she thinks he should have some rights. Okay. And what are those rights that you think he should have? He's come out. He should access for that's, legal that's, that's a fair question. He's he asked out. what rights she thinks he should have. Okay. I'd like to hear that. Sorry. He's came out. He's he's had um, full access to her. He could, that's always been that. He can demonstrate. Flying here, seeing her, they we, it, it depends on the situation. I know that I can help him with his relationship with his daughter, and I support that, and I have displayed that in the, in the case. And before. So you think Dad's rights should be that he can come to visit Gabriella at your house? I'm not stating that. I, I do you do you um, do you agree that Gabriella should be allowed to spend a month in the summer at least with Dad? Gabriella, Gabriella had an issue um, with the week, but then again, I was communication was cut off. I no one can determine that right now if Gabriella is comfortable. For so a, how a, much time should month. Gabriella spend in Pennsylvania with her dad on her visit? She's recently just came back as of the twenty first of yesterday. She was better okay. with a week with communication. With the week that he completely cut me off was not good. With communication, she handled that sustained. She asked you how much time should Gabriella be able to spend with Dad in in Pennsylvania. I don't need all the other stuff. How much time do you think she should spend? I think she the should question was during the summer, Your Honor. It's, that was one of the questions. Yeah, there was the question specifically about a month in the summer. Should she be able to do that? The summer, the summer with communication with her mom and her family, yes. It was a yes or no. Yes. I don't need all the qualifications. Yes. She should be able to spend time with him in the summer. Yes. For up to at least a month. 
Okay, mm -hmm. go ahead. Thank you. Uh, you took Gabriella to a doctor, or your mom took Gabriella to a doctor on June 29th, 2019, correct? Yes. But, um, but isn't it true that Lewis was in town that day? Which doctor? You just said yes. Correct? I'm not sure which doctor. Okay. Isn't it true that you did not tell Lewis that you, you guys were taking Gabriella to a doctor? Objection. She can't know what her mother did or did not do with that regard. So yes. I object to the form of the question. All right, I'm going to overrule it. She said basically the gist of this was there was a date that she confirmed the child went to a doctor. The question substantively is did you, you do things with your mom too, you guys had the child at the doctor, did you let him know about the doctor appointment? I, I'm not over recall June 29th. I know Gabriella has been sick. Well, then Wait, why did you say back. yes? The no, child no, was correct. it. No, listen to me. I'm saying, mm -hmm. don't say yes if you don't know. You said, yeah, we went to the doctor on that date. So she gets okay. to follow that up. Did you tell him about yes, it? Yes, she got back. She left from the 20, June 22nd to the 29th. When she came back, she was sick. She had recently got her flu shot. Okay, but you didn't tell Lewis that you're taking her to the doctor, right? Yes, I did. Yes, I did. Okay. Um, did you ever live in Arizona? No. What other states have you resided in? Pennsylvania. Um, wait, since a minor or as an adult? As an adult. Yeah, that's a good question. As an adult? Yes. Pennsylvania, Pennsylvania, New Jersey, and Nevada. Nevada. Gabriella's on Medicaid, correct? Correct. And. Um, who signed her up? Me. But isn't she on your mom's account? Yeah, I was there. Why isn't she? Why isn't she under you? It's the household in Nevada. It goes under that uh, household. Your mom testified that she thought you were drugged, raped, and something else. Um, you heard her testimony, right? Correct. Um, why do you think she thinks that? Maybe Lewis told her. Objection. Calls for speculation. Oh. Uh, sustain. You didn't tell her that? You didn't tell your mom you were drugged and raped? No. Um, your Honor, am I allowed to ask about the, the, the demeanor program? I mean, I, I kind yeah, of... Yeah, I have no idea what a demeanor program is. I'm curious. Thank you. What is, what is a demeanor program that you did? I, on this, on, there's a paper. It it specifies. It was basically just like a, a, um, a STD prevention. That's what all the the criteria was. Okay. It was in an online program. No. You have to go into a building. No. I I had a packet that I um printed out. Okay. And um, when did you complete it? I'm I'm not entirely sure. Isn't it true that your dad completed it for you? False. All right, and what did you, I mean, it just talked about STDs? Yeah, basically. Okay, I request that you turn your attention to what's marked Exhibit B, page 175, please. Is that in the portion that's been admitted yet, or is that something else? I don't, I don't believe it's been admitted yet. Okay. So I'll take, I won't take a look B. at it yet. B, page 175, you said? Correct. I see page 175, yes. Okay. Do you know what that is? What is this document? A register of actions. Okay. And uh, is this 
this is concerning your, you, correct? Yes. <coughs> and uh, you agree that um, You, you agree that your case was ultimately dismissed on November 29th, 2018? That was the um, per negotiations. I believe it was dismissed before that. Um, it says on the tw it's on page 20th. Yeah, it says, it says July, um, July 20th was the final disposition. Then 1129 was the amended disposition. Yes, I would say so. You'd say so, yes, what? It says amended disposition. You see where it says case closed, right? Dismissed, 11-29-2018, right? You know, requirements, the dismissed after di diversion, requirements completed. Right, you had a requirements a status check on 11-29-2018, right? Mm, correct. Um, wh where was your daughter when you were spent three days in jail? With my mom. And then the following month, where was your daughter when you spent a day in jail? That was not the following month. That was a year apart. December 29th, 2019? No, February and February. And then the, the uh, second day, that was a year apart. I'm speaking of your, st your requirements meeting status check. After 11-29, when you submitted to the court that you completed your requirements, the following month you were arrested again, right? Mm -hmm. Who watched your kid? My mom. Okay. Um, when uh, you said that uh, you had a parent-teacher meeting on August 30th, 2019, right, at Head Start? Correct. And Lewis was present, right? Yes. And. Isn't it true that Lewis had to have them add his information because you did you or your mom did not include his information anywhere in the paperwork? The school objection as to what mom may or may not have done, Your Honor. What? Yeah, mother, you can just ask her what she's done. I don't have foundation about her mom doing it. You didn't add. You didn't put his name on any of the paperwork. I was school, there right? to sign my daughter up for school, and they wanted a guardianship. They told her to go file for a guardianship due to the, the previous guardianship that was in place the year before. They had to go by that. If I wanted to sign him up, I could not. It was not me signing her up. They wanted a guardianship. Okay, so in the spot that said father, you just left it blank? I didn't fill it out. They, they wanted a guardianship because of the previous guardianship the year before. So you so they you couldn't fill it out? They wouldn't let you Objection. fill it out? Objection. Ask an answer. Sustained. Okay. Um, so... Is your daughter getting SSI? No. Is she getting SNAP benefits? It's a household. It, it's like a household thing. I no, no, what she's not. That? What's the household thing? I don't know. I know that Social Security goes by your household, and I was, she's specifically receiving SNAPs. No. Okay, but she's a member of the household, right? Correct. Okay. And um, are, so you're you're claiming you're working at DoorDash right now. Correct. Objection and asked and answered. Where does your well, brother work? Uh, hold on. It was asked and answered, but I, I don't think that was the question. Okay. It was more of a framing the next question that was Correct. coming, more of just refreshing her where she's at. Where do, where do all the members of your household work? My brother works at for Walmart. Okay. And where does your mom work? She does not work. And your uncle? My uncle does not work. Um, you call, uh, when you refer to Lewis uh, with Gabriella, you refer to him as Lewis, correct? No, Gabriella refers to Lewis as Lewis. I asked you what you refer to him. I refer to Lewis as Lewis. Okay. That's for me calling, talking to him. Right. But when you talk to your daughter, you also refer to him as Lewis, No, correct? I say that. You do? Yes. It's um, in your daughter's best interest to have a close relationship with Eli. That's her brother. Okay. 
desk. And you know that um, there's another sibling on the way for Gabriella, correct? Correct. Mm -hmm. And do you think it's important for her to be there, a part of that sibling's life as well? That would be her, her brother or sister, too. And um, in Nevada, does she have any small cousins? Mm. No. She has a small cousin in Pennsylvania on your, on your side as well, correct? Correct. Do you have any concerns regarding safety in Pennsylvania? Mm. The judge said um, there's only parents legally disciplined, and no, I don't have any concerns. How do you discipline Gabriella? I use a start-stop method. Are you in a relationship right now? Uh, recently. When was that? It was two days before she left for Lewis, so I would say the 19th of June, June 19th. Isn't it true that she was behind on her immunizations? False. What immunizations did she have? She got her four-year-old shots. And do you, what are those? I'm not entirely sure. There was four different shots that she had to get. Yes. Okay. You saying that you're homeschooling Gabriella right now? No. Objection. Objection. Mischaracterizes testimony. Um, it's in the evidence. It's in the, it's in the talking parents. Communication. She told him she's homeschooling. Yeah, for my interpretation, I thought schooling was Head Start, but they are two different things. I thought I was calling Head Start school. That's why I was referencing Head Start as school. And he he was referencing that too. Briefly, um, do you remember counsel gave you this motion that you filed? Can you find that in front of you? It says 118.19 up on the top. It's a, it's free. It's not attached in one of the books. Yes. Yeah. Matt, now, turn please to page four of this, and I'll wait for you. <coughs> in my hand, I have... Um, a different paper. There's no page four here. Okay. Maybe uh, you want to approach and make sure you get the right document. Mm -hmm. That's not it. It's this. Page four of that. Okay, briefly. You see on the bottom you wrote some Domestic abuse, neglect, you see all that where you wrote that in that paragraph? Yes. And then on the last line, just to make the judge's point here, you wrote no emotional connection 24,000 miles away living in Pennsylvania. You, you wrote 24,000 miles. You 
You didn't mean 24,000 miles, of course, right? No. And you made a, an error in writing this, correct? Right. In fact, 24,000 miles. Objection leading, relevance. It's, it's, I get it. Okay. it yeah, no, Fine. it's relevant. He's demonstrating that she didn't have the requisite, that she made mistakes and didn't have some of the requisite understandings. So maybe she thinks it's 24,000 miles away. I don't know. That would be <laughs> awfully <laughs> far, wouldn't it? Yeah, 2,400. Okay, that's fine. Mm -hmm. And um, I forget where your FDF is. Where was that FDF? That counts report today. Um, A, maybe? There's one in, one in A. And yeah. Um, um, on A, yeah. in Exhibit A in the big book, um, on page two, on the bottom there, where it says other, my father, weekly. Yes. And then you wrote 72000 there. Correct. Correct. And at $15 a week, how much is $15 times 52 weeks? $15 times it's, 52. It's certainly not 72000 correct? Yeah. Is it safe to say that you made a mistake there too? Correct. Okay. And on the on the next line, when you put total average other in, other income received, what did you put on that one? Seventy-seven thousand seven hundred and sixty dollars. Okay. Do you want to make a? Do you have what correction would you like to make to the court? That would actually be four hundred eighty plus fifteen. Okay. So, so that would be ninety four hundred ninety-five. You made dollars. a mistake there too. Correct. Okay. Now, when you filled out. Did you understand what you were doing or the import of, mm -hmm. let me ask you this. You testified that legal custody to you is custody that's legally granted by the court. Am I correct? Correct. With that? Um, and that remains your understanding of legal custody? Correct. Okay. I don't have much, Your Honor, but hang on one second, please. Okay. Okay. On um, turn to on exhibit E in the big book, page two thirty two. Turn to page 233. On the top, what did you list for as of pay period ended 210332? Do you see where you wrote that under A? Yes. Okay. So where, where'd you get that number 210332? I thought you just um, add like your overall income okay. for the year. Uh, do you understand that that is ask, actually asking for a date? I mean, here's my point. Just go to page 240 okay. right now. And council asked you about this briefly, Yes. right? And do you see on the bottom of the first column where it says gross? Yes. And you see the number on gross. What's the grand total under gross? Under gross, the grand total says 
$103.32. And that's the same number you put up here. So you just didn't fill this. Well, what do you have to say about the fact that you filled that number in where it was supposed to be a day? You made a mistake filling this out, didn't you? Objection, lady. Correct. But sustained. What's the highest level of, of school you attended? Some college. You did attend some college? Yeah. Te the technical school. What high school did you graduate? Pleasant Valley High School. Is that here? Where is that? That's Broadheadsville, mm -hmm. Pennsylvania. So. Just a tiny one, yeah. Um, if, if, uh, if you understand legal custody to be custody uh, granted by the court, what is uh, what do you understand physical custody to be? <coughs> so legal or so physical? My answer would be physical custody is physical contact through the court. Okay. And what is visitation to you? Visitation to me is um, sending uh, a child with the, with the parent, with one parent. Okay. To visit or to live? They would be having a visit with them. Okay. And believing that that's what visitation is, you mm -hmm. asked this court to grant Lewis, zero visitation, correct? Objection. It said sole legal custody. It didn't say physical. This characterization of Thanks. her testimony. No, I'm talking about a motion. But her motion asked for sole legal. That's what the she The motion asked for sole legal, right? The motion asks for three things. Um, she's supposed to lay out the visitation, and you wrote zero visitation oh, to that. Okay. Oh, okay. You can ask her about that. Correct? You wrote zero visitation to that, correct? Correct. Okay. No further questions. Yeah. And you just testified that, in fact, you know, Lewis is entitled to visitation as far as you're concerned, correct? Correct. And you answered that um, he's the father, correct? Yes. Okay, so what you put in there about having Lewis having no visitation, um, you were... I wanted him to come into her environment until Gabriella was coming. That's fine. That okay. was I have no further questions. Objection leading. Sustain. You okay though? Do you have any other questions? No. You can step down. Any other witnesses from the plaintiff? I have no further witnesses. Do you guys rest? I'm going to rest. All right. Thank you, Your Honor. I'm just going to call briefly um, maternal grandmother, Maria okay. Bartolo. Should I grab her? I can we can her. Yeah, Ralph can get her. Thank you. No one in the hallway? Can we call her? I did subpoena her for trial. She's under subpoena? Yeah, I she went to the restroom. Does she have a cell phone or anything? Yes. You know? I mean, she's been here, I know, earlier today. Yeah, she was here earlier. I don't have a number. I think it's likely she's in the building. Do you have her number? I have her phone number. I just don't have my phone on me. Okay. Why don't we recess for five minutes? We'll see if we can okay. find her. Thank you, Your Honor. I'm sorry.